Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu unserem Let's Play hier. Blackwell Anbau. Wir sind immer noch dabei, diesen Scheißfall von dem äh, Saxophonspieler dazu zu folgen. Hi again. Hi yourself. Again. Is Cecil Sharp in the band The Sea Sharps? Cecil Sharp. Sea Sharps. Yes! I knew I heard the name from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So do you remember him now? Oh, yeah, he was the band leader. Danke. A genius on the piano. Danke. So, Arsch, du warst aber sehr wohl in der Band. Vielen Dank. Thanks for the help. Nope. Wenn du jetzt doch weiter dich da rausredest, dann hau ich dir eine. Persönlich, ich zeige dich in den Bildschirm ein. Und dann setzt was. So, Johnny's Ivories. Johnny Ivories. Kollege. Hey. Hello. I want to talk to you about the C-Sharps. I said... I know what you said. And I know that you're lying. So shut the hell up and listen. Danke. I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yes, yep. I did. That... Fine. You got me. Danke. Yes. I used to run a band called the C-Sharps. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah. Sure you do. About that sax player. Yeah. He's in that photo, so... Uh, what is this? You from That's that true. damn magazine? Magazine? The New Yorker. You a reporter? Fine. No. So who is he? You just don't quit, do you? You want to know so badly? Yeah. His name is Isaac Brown. Danke. Isaac Brown? Yes. You happy now? Ecstatic. Great. What can you tell me about Isaac Brown? Him? He's a bum. A drunk, a nobody, a lowlife. He's also dead. And how did he die? Someone strangled him to death with his bare hands. Isaac must have squealed like a pig. You don't seem very upset by this. No, but last time someone asked about Isaac, it was some reporter from The New Yorker. He came along, asked his questions, then bam, Isaac's dead. Really? Yeah, so forgive me if I don't take kindly to pushy questions. Yeah, yeah, kind of problem. Ah, come here. Who is the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talker. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. So please, just get out of here. About that reporter. I know nothing else about Southern guy. Talked real slow. Just leave. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Dann können wir abhauen. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Erstmal nach Hause gehen. Als erstes checken wir mal Isaac Brown ab. Das wird nicht sein. Isaac. Hehe. <lacht> wir erstmal The Banding of Isaac Rebirth. Haha. <lacht> There is no listing. Dead people usually aren't listed in the phone book, dear. Just the obituary. Na ja, stimmt. Warte mal, Facebook. New Yorker. Yep, there's a listing for the New Yorker. Their main office is in Midtown. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Das könnte man auch mal kurz hier mit. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Sehr gut, wir dürfen die Adresse von New Yorker haben. Ja, haben wir nicht. Bullshit. Ja. Okay, ich komme. Joey. Hau ich mal da rein. Ich bin genervt. Alter. Aber wir kommen weiter. Hello, Isaac. You're Isaac Brown, aren't you? What's it to you, man? So you are Isaac Brown? How do you know me? Get away! Get out of here! Alter. Jedes Mal. Kannst du einfach mal aufhören, mich zu hauen? Hello, I. What do you know about a reporter named Mitchell? Mitchell. I'm not sure. He's a nice man. He asked me about my life. He bought me a drink. Gave me ten dollars. He... Hey! What are you doing on stage, man? Oh, here we go again. Get out of here! Da! Alter, kannst du... Hell... Nein, Kollege, lass mal... What else do you know about Mitchell? Hey, what you wanna know about him? He's a nice guy. He don't bother nobody. He treat me nice, so I'll treat him nice. You stay away! Yeah. Get out! 
Armstrong, oh. I said dick. Hello, Isaac. You're Isaac Brown. What's it? So you are. How to get away? Get, get. <laughs> nope, I can't. I don't leave here. Klar, das ist nicht wahr, ey. Ich möchte ja gern. Oh, scheiße. Darf ich jetzt bitte die Adresse vom New Yorker wissen? Warte mal, Telefon, kann man dich vielleicht anrufen? Danke. Come on. Thank you for calling the New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello, yes. I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Well, let's see now. Mitchell, Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff, is that him? I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. Ah, sehr gut. Come on. Right, be. New Yorker. Yes. Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. Kollege, Isaac Brown. I need to ask you a few questions. Well, there's no harm in asking, certainly. What is this regarding? Are you a reporter or... No, an independent investigator. I see, so you're not with the police. Would no. it matter if I was? No, it wouldn't. So what can I do for you, Miss Blackwell? I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon? Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. Do you know anything about the construction site on 53rd Street? A construction site? I'm afraid not. There are so many of them around. Always have been. Really? I hadn't noticed. I don't blame you. It happens so slowly. Buildings being torn down, new buildings going up. New York City is constantly evolving. An eternal state of rebirth. Quite unique in that respect, actually. Go back or forward 20 years and you won't recognize a thing. That's very... profound. Yes, I'm sorry. I tend to wax on a bit. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. Um, uh, I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. Maybe. So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? Yep. I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, hmm. like me. Hmm. You found that amusing. Oh, not at all. I really. So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C-Sharps. Then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yeah. Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? I can't do that. Of course he can't. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen. I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not gonna say anything. Notebook updated. Sister. Who never. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. About Isaac Brown. I told. Okay. I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Ah, uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? 
No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Um. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I have written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell, Isaac didn't just die, he was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. About I, okay, I think that's, that's all for now. Alright, you have a good night now. Ich werde wieder kommen, Kollege. Da verlass dich auch mal drauf. Alter, ich komme überhaupt nicht mehr zu. Ich komme die ganze Zeit eine. So, hier, Joey. Hau mal rein. Naja. I'll be back. Kollege. You're Isaac Br What's Get him, get him. Boom. Oh. Hell, I Tell me about your sister. Huh? huh? What you what want you with want my, my sister? Sis? Nothing. I just want... You stay, you stay away, away from, from my, my sister, sister, here. All right, Mac, relax. Get, get out of here! Fuck. Oh. Hell, I said... Nein. Tell me about your sister. Huh? What? Not you. I'll get... Weiter geht's, Alter. Rennen around. Wie ist der Typ nochmal? Josef Mitchell. Oh. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, ob das mit PH oder mit F war. Aber das ist jetzt egal. Ich guck mal nach. Josef Mitchell. There's no entry. Josef Mitchell. There's no Okay. Dann ist das egal. Come on. Right B. Oh, der andere von nach, ich mir vorstellen, ich wollte ihn ja später lesen. Na, wo wollen wir denn hin? Kollege. See, so what? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You fat it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Uh -uh. What are you gonna do, throw me out? Oh, is that a challenge? Don't tempt me, lady. Leave. You want me to leave? I'll leave. I want you to leave? I'll leave. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. Nee, Kollege, so nicht. You just don't give up, do you? Nicht, sir. We need to talk. Look, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Oh, Sorry and enough, sister. Leave. No. I'll leave, but I'll be back. Well, that's... We'll have to change our tactics of... Oh, look. We need to... Look, obviously something's wrong. Why don't you try talking about it? What is this? Some kind of psychotherapy? You here to get me to open up about my feelings? I'm here for Isaac. He's not worth it, and neither are you. Just get out of here. You want me to leave? I leave. Oh, God. Ever think of moonlighting and you're so good? Seriously, whatever you're doing. You just. Nein, give it You have for time. Look, Buster, I've had it up to here with this. I need information. It's stuck in your head, and I plan on getting it out. Less talk and more. Get the hell out. Okay, this is me leaving you alone. <laughs> Stop and think. Soon as Piano Boy sees you, he gets all bent out of shape. You won't get anywhere this way. Oh, look. Hello. You're upset. I didn't want to upset you. I'm upset. Yeah, great observation. If you're so concerned, why don't you just leave? That would make me feel much better. Fine, I'm going. 
You're hopeless, you know that? A shame I can't talk to him. I know his type. Uh, no. I'll talk to him when we're... Oh! Hello? I really need to know about Isaac's sister. It's very important. Yeah. Yeah, well, we all have problems. And my problem is you. So leave. I'll leave, but... Darling, dear, you obviously can't handle... Maybe I can be of use? We then. No. It's you. We need to talk. I just... Shut it! Just leave, why don't you? You want me to leave? I'll leave. I'll leave. <laughs> Darling, dear, maybe... Später. Look! That's me. You want to forget the past, you say? Yeah. Then what's with the picture behind you? If you wanted to forget the past, why'd you keep the picture? I have my reasons. Leave it alone. Just leave me alone. Fine, I'm going... Ich glaube, das war seine Schwester, das war seine Schwester. Darling, maybe. Okay, Joey. Hau rein. Nothing's changed since the last... Hmm. It's our... Whoever that is... Take a close... How am I supposed to have to face facts? Hmm. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. I know that it only go. I think. So he's gonna do You just. You up for talking like a civilized human being? You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. Ah. She was our heart and soul. I would have. Damn you, woman. Damn. <laughs> I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? Alles wichtig ist. So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right. All right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never going to leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sax, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... It was magic. Such energy, such... Life. Such a waste. What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I love that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Oh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. I told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Till he got killed by some drifter. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death. But I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Can you tell me- No, I've told you- About Sarah. I told you everything. Please, just stop. About that reporter. I know nothing else of Southern guy. Talked real slow. Ask- Just leave it, okay? You're sure you don't know- I told you. I got no reason to leave- Okay.
left. Okay. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah. A duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh, well. Why would I want... Why would I want... Why would I want... It's his sheet me. He's barely looking at it. Und damit können wir jetzt auch nicht mal zu Isaac. Alter, 20 Minuten, ich muss schon wieder Schluss machen. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein. Und jetzt wird die Folge gehen wir zu Isaac. Alter, ist das, Alter, ist das anstrengend. Ich bin nicht. Haut rein.